Are you ready? You ready? Singa! Singa, we're going sailing! Sing we're going sailing! I have to go inside now. Let's go! Good job. Are you ready? I'm ready. Past ready. Take two. I hope. Yeah. Here we go. It's all about you. It's all about me. It's all about what we do. Making art, you and me. Trying to find something to believe. We're sailing to I'm them. I'm sure you're wondering where. <laughs> it's Jumentos. 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 J U. J U? J U. J U. J -U. J -U. J -U Mentos. Everyone calls it the Jumentos. And it's just this tiny little string of islands, almost no protection, so the winds have to be perfect, and they might be perfect, we're yes. hoping. There's no internet there, so we're, of course we're going to have to use the Iridium to connect and try to use predict wind that way. So that'll be a good challenge, it'll be the first time we've had to do that. In a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's famous for spearing, lobstering. Which is now out of season. So we won't get lost, but we can spear some stuff. Yeah, or hopefully. just snorkel and yeah. enjoy and explore the little tiny rocks that are there. I, cause I don't yeah. think there's much land. I think it's just some rocks out in the middle of the ocean and that's that. There's supposed to be lots of sharks. And then from there, if the weather continues to cooperate, we want to go to the ragged sea. Because I'm running wild, I am running free. Still got a lot of left to see. Not sure what happened to today. It went from... 10 knots of wind, first thing in the morning-ish, to now we're getting like four knots of wind. So we're motor sailing, and we probably flew the spinnaker a little longer than we should have because now we're kind of hustling because we don't want to get to our anchorage at night. We've got both sails out, doing about six and a half knots. The swell's just starting to kick up because we're um, kind of exposed to the ocean now, but it's generally wonderful and calm. I just wish there was more than five knots of wind. It's gonna take it all. It's literally crazy. Jeez! It's almost gone. I don't know what that is. <laughs> it is massive. Yeah. And uh, that's it. No more fishing. Nope. I mean, that is like on fire. Wow! I'm stuck in this town. The town's stuck in me. Always trying to find another reason to leave. But we sit at home all alone. Hoping one day I'll never be known. Cause I'm stuck on the bottom. Trying to feel on top. Wishing everything would just come to a stop. Welcome to the Jamentos. Crazy first day. Right. There you go. Tomorrow's gonna be good. Considering the fish we caught, it better be good. <laughs> That's okay. Cause we're gonna go spearing tomorrow. We're gonna choose our fish. There's our anchorage. There's a couple other people here.
trying to love you. Okay, so that was Water Key, and our next stop is Flamingo Key. And I don't know if there's really flamingos there or not, but that would be awesome. There are supposed to be flamingos in the Bahamas. Sometimes. Sometimes. Man, that current, it was just, we didn't go at the right time. It wasn't slack tide. We knew that. So we knew the current could be bad, but when you get close to that shallow, like I jump in the deep stuff and I'd be like, oh, it's not bad at all. Start swimming and then all of a sudden you get to where the shelf is and it's like, oh, 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 oh. So I never really could get my Zen, you know, meditation thing to, to get down and really stay down and spear fish. We were going for specifically snapper or which one? Oh, hogfish. Hogfish. Uh, we came out with a lionfish, and I feel like whenever I see one, I feel like I have to get it. They taste good. Uh, but anyway, I I'm still learning, and every time is practice. But that was pretty wild, all that current right there by the shallows. Jeez. Oh, and plenty of grouper, but Nikki, I think Nikki doesn't really like grouper that much anymore. Maybe she's groupered out. Fourteen, thirteen knots of wind at seven and a half speed. Woo! Cruising, baby. Perfect, baby. As long as we don't hit any coral heads, we're good. We are doing visual navigation here. Can't always trust the charts, although it hasn't been wrong. We are dodging landmines left and right. See these little spots? All those, 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 all of that. Those are all different reefs or rocks, things that are submerged and destroy our boat. See that dark spot there? That dark spot there? And one over there. They're all around. Okay, that was exactly two hours. We sailed 13.7 nautical miles and we used the engines for a whole whopping 0.3 hours, really just to pick up the anchor and put it back down. So that was it. Good timing, excellent sail. Man, it flew by, okay. See you tomorrow. Uh -huh. so we weren't caught like super awesome. Anyway, uh, this is Two Palm Beach and Two Palm Anchorage, which really is now one palm and a stump, and it looks like the second palm is gonna go at any moment. It looks so sad. This is a pond, <laughs> obviously. Uh, it's supposed to be filled with pink shrimp, and that's why it's so red, and that's where the pink flamingos would come and eat, and I guess turn pink. Well, we've been looking, and Nikki's been poking with a stick, like she always does, to see if there's any shrimp in there, but we haven't seen any shrimp. It's still red, uh, but the locals here are extremely friendly. I mean, they'll sit down and have a beer with you, and <laughs> um, just walk all around, do push-ups, the Humpty Dance, you know, pretty much whatever they need to do to, to entertain you. So you can spend hours just watching all the lizards. Or, I mean, I could spend hours. Yeah.
We got a lot of lizard footage. Yes. A lot of lizard. Do you think that maybe because there's no more shrimp, maybe that's why there's no more flamingos that come? Ooh. Uh, very interesting. Houston, we have a problem. <gasps> oh no. It is like dead, dead. 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 The big question is do I swim back or try to paddle? <laughs> and lay flat and. Oh. Oh no. Did you do that just for dramatic purposes? I'm just really happy our boat is this that close. close. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I'll be back. Oh, I think I found the problem. Look at that, man! Dang! Oh. We did see a shark earlier swimming around the boat, so I think he's got a little extra motivation to hurry up and get there. You should come in! <laughs> you can see his little head bobbing up. He's getting close. want to sympathize with everyone out there on YouTube I would have much rather seen Nikki strip down and swim <laughs> as well <laughs> all right that's what you got to do when you're a man thanks <laughs> my hero <laughs> going snorkeling there's our sad board. Yeah. But I have to say, even though it it died a very inconvenient, but it could have been worse, death, I'd still rather have an inflatable board over a rigid board. Just because it's so much more convenient. And it's easier to store on the boat and everything else. So we're going to have to get another. Just is what it is. They'll replace it. Still under warranty. <laughs> the bucket. Oh, the bucket. Oh, okay. <laughs> silent either or you know i'm blind take a left up ahead we're going towards the horizon don't stop going till we see the sun rising you know this is who we are this is what we do driving in circles till we find something new the only person i enjoy sitting in the car with is you if it's fine by you i'll take the passenger seat we can drive around to the sky and see me Beside you, staring at the window, looking at the summer view. Fine by you, I'll be next to you. If it's fine by you, I'll be beside you. Speeding down the highway with the wind blowing through. Everything around us feeling minuscule. If it's fine, 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 fine by you, I'll take, take, take the passenger seat. We can drive
in the morning. It's a good start to the day. <laughs> Lobster season's supposed to be over, so I have no idea what those pots are. Um, well, I'm assuming they're pots. Anyway, there's markers all around here, everywhere. We're dodging them left and right. Fortunately, we haven't gotten stuck yet. Knock on some serious wood. Nikki is cooking up a storm in there. It smells divine. I wish, I wish, wish, wish it was smell vision, but at least I can show you, maybe. What are you cooking, Nikki? The Long Island Bahamas special because we have sweet potatoes, peppers, onions, and eggs, all from the farmer's market in Long Island, grown there by those awesome ladies and gents. So that's what we're having, a little hash and fried eggs. Thank you. Those are the guys dropping all the pots, probably. Ready to attack. Good job. Right, we are almost to Raccoon Key, which is, I think, technically now in the Raggeds. So we've left the Jamentos and we've now entered the Ragged Keys. Uh, oh, and somewhere along the way from Long Island. a blow it's just there's a wind shift that's going to shift to north which is not great for all of these anchorages it'll leave us exposed so we're gonna move further down like all 12 miles of it to Ragged Key which will be the end of the Raggeds, the Raggeds. yeah and you know it's kind of if I'm totally honest they all start to kind of feel somewhat the same it's another rock with another beautiful sandy beach and great snorkeling. Uh, nothing to complain about. Nothing to complain about at all, for sure. But it's just... The same. The same, yeah. And that's okay. It's all still fun and enjoyable. But we're kind of... We did this just because we wanted to, to do it. We just wanted to come and see it. And it's kind of more remote, which is cool. And then, yeah. I think we'll make that stop. And then we're going to start to turn around. Most likely and make the trek back to Florida. We've got a lot of work we need to do on the boat to get it ready to really take off. Well, you just dropped the bomb. I did. I didn't know we were gonna do that. <laughs> well, it's just there happening, right? Yep. It's like, that's what this last little bit was about. Like make it as far south as we could in the Bahamas um, and then go back so we can hurry up and get the boat fixed. So we can hurry up and take off before hurricane season is like in full swing. So, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell people why? Yeah, Nikki just dropped a couple big bombs and um, one being the Bahamas is a bunch of the same. We keep getting that comment over and over on our website on YouTube. People are saying, oh, it just looks like more of the same. Well, honestly, it kind of is. Lovely, but the same. Okay, so that, that that little bit of housekeeping is done. The other thing is we're going back to Florida because we have two big things. One, damage with our keel and running rigging and standing rigging. I guess that's three. 
big things that need to be done and we want them done by people we trust and we trust the people at Just Catamarans and that's why in the grand scheme of things, sailing 200, 300 nautical miles back to Fort Lauderdale is not that big of a deal. Get the boat prepped, then we're confident it's ready, and then we really set sail, like she said. You like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, really. And then we get crew on board. And yes. we go. And we go. We load with beer. <laughs> and food, more food, cheap, good food, yes. Oh yeah, so it's not Although gonna all be headed, bad. I think good food will not be a problem. Oh yeah, yeah. Power line. <laughs> not the day, not the time to trip or be ungraceful. Just in case. That's the road and over the hill, and just on the other side is town. It's pretty crazy when you have to look up both directions before crossing the runway. If it's fine where you are, take the passenger seat We can drive around to the sky and see me If it's fine where you are, take the passenger seat I got my hands out the window, feel the ocean breeze So this is Ragged Island. We've been here for, I don't know, three, four days, something like that? Yeah. Maybe? Uh, spent the first day spearing and of course I speared my first fish did not catch it on camera and well probably because a bull shark showed up immediately with like his ocean IRS badge wanting his cut <laughs> so it was more like we ran you can run in the water I know because we did it <laughs> ran to the boat uh, but it was exciting and then let's see oh we came into town here to ragged to top up our BTC which is our cell phone so we got to talk to the lady who was in there, who was, I guess, like the post office, city council, I don't know. Um, it's an all in one building. Uh, so she was really nice. They were super helpful, really welcoming. Everybody in town waves, like all five people that we've seen. Uh, but the first day when we came in, there were goats everywhere. I mean, like on the lawns, on people's porches, like just walking down the street, everywhere, and roosters. So, I mean, it's got to be at least like a five to one ratio of like goat and rooster to person. It's interesting. It's an interesting little place for sure. Salt ponds and everything else. But anyway, we are taking off tomorrow. This is the as far south in the Bahamas. Is we're going to we're going to make it for now. But exactly. I think we should stop in the bar because it sounds, it sounds bumping in there. Bumping. That's the bar. Yes, the lunch. Yes, yes. Well, that was an interesting night. Wow. But I will tell you about it tomorrow. Really? Yep. I thought this was the end of the video. 
no, this should, <laughs> I'm not in any sort of condition given into the video. <laughs> I had some amazing conversations though, and it was such a great end to the, to the trip and eye opening and yeah, it's just, you had to be here and that's the worst part of it is because I wish I could somehow like package that up and share it with everybody, but it's just one of those things that you have to come and experience it for yourself and just dive right in. All right, let's go to the boat. It's not lit up. <laughs>